Well, TSM did it. They 3 0 Immortals, who had previously only lost one game the entire season so far. Uh, Double Lift, you and I were hanging out a couple weeks ago, three weeks ago, in fact, and you predicted that you would make it to the finals. You made more of a prediction, but you told me that this was going to happen. How was it that three weeks ago you knew that this was going to happen? Was it just scripted? It's, it's all scripted, dude. It's actually pre recorded. I played that game like two or three months ago. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> And they just they they that's how they beta test the patch stuff and then yeah, it hits uh, now. For sure. Yeah. Okay. Very Actually, good. I don't know. I just felt it because when you hit rock bottom, that's when you just like you can just only shoot up from there. I think we were like close to close to rock bottom, but then we finally hit it when we threw that 10k goalie against Energy. I mean, I think Dignitas is rock bottom. <laughs> yeah, but they don't bounce back. They just stay there. Oh, okay. It's like they're like an anchor. Oh wow. Okay. At the bottom of the ocean. And TSM is like a what's a bouncy? I don't know, like a bouncy uh, ball. A bouncy, a bouncy, yeah, a bouncy ball. Oh, yeah. Glad we both ball. we both went with a bouncy ball. Of course, that's yeah. that's our thing. Yeah. Two <laughs> guys and one bouncy ball. Yeah, I think that's that's the name of our future show. All right, so no, but seriously, how did you how did you know? Because everything looks so hard for you. I mean, even now you had to. They're just doing like reseeding, where in between. The you know throughout the playoffs you always have to face the hardest team if you're the lowest seed. So how I mean how did you know? Uh, I just felt really confident because after we lost to energy, I was just like, man, <laughs> I'm gonna start chalk calling, and I'm gonna make sure that everyone's like on the same page for every play that we make. And like, I don't know. I guess to be honest, I wasn't putting in 100% effort during the regular split because I was afraid and like that kind of like fear of like overstepping my boundaries or whatever or like you know speaking up what I'm not supposed to like basically fear of like being really toxic or like negative and bringing down the team um, I didn't want to like fit that stigma coming into the team so I just kind of kept quiet kept my head down and like didn't really speak up too much but at the end I was just like all right whatever like I pretty much know how to do it like all stages of the game because we just keep getting murdered in like every game <laughs> so um, Obviously, like, I'm wrong a lot of the time, and, like, we learned a ton throughout the last couple weeks. I'm not going to say I'm, like, the main chocolate or anything like that, or, well, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Basically, me, Bora, or me, Yellowstar, and Bjergsen, we take over, like, a lot of the leadership on the team, and it's working super well. I feel like our team play has just increased by, like, tenfold since then. I mean, it certainly looks like it. Those team fights were super fun to watch. Mm -hmm. the, the thing that's weird to me, though, is that this seems like, you know, if you had told somebody that this is what was happening, you know, maybe before this match, people would be like, oh boy. It's <laughs> like this, we've heard this before. Peter gets frustrated after a poor, bad split, and at the end of it, he suddenly steps up and starts, like, making shot calls and decides that he's going to be the leader, and then, like, everything goes weird and bad and everyone loses, because this what happened seemingly on CLG every split, right? Uh, yeah. At least that's the narrative. Much. That's that's the narrative. There's a lot of stuff that goes behind the scenes, like... I don't know. I, it's honestly just it's so much more of a team game now than it was before. Like before, even if I wasn't saying anything, I could probably carry the game just like solo in like season 2 or season 3, but now it's it's a totally different like ballpark, I guess. It's 100% based on every action your team teammates are doing influences your actions in the game. And I don't know. We finally like had that click in our heads and we just started actually playing as a team. There's not much else to it. Yeah. But is it so simple as it clicks in your heads and you start playing as a team? Like, what what really went into that? Uh, well, we just work. We definitely worked harder than Immortals. Like, I can say that outright. Like, we spend like at least 10, 12 hours a day, just either playing or talking about um, our thought processes during the game, so we can better understand each other. And like every single move that we make is just like scrutinized after the game. We have like Andy coming in, helping us, coaching us. He's super helpful. Um, Parth and Weldon, all these people. Uh, like help us give each other criticism and feedback so I don't know basically I can just like play the game with my eyes closed most of the time and I'll still know what like Dennis Bora like everyone on the team is doing I think that's super important especially right now because it's like a pretty team fight heavy meta and if you're able to like move faster and out coordinate the enemy team and just like play a team fight better then you're probably gonna win how did that work with with Reggie stepping in? Reggie is the type of person who has like such a strong personality. You also have that, you know. I and he's also the type of guy who's not going to be like super polite. Like, hey, buddy, I feel like maybe <laughs> you could have done that a little differently, right? Yeah. Like, I I'm surprised that you like. Was it hard for you to sort of accept that role? Oh no, I actually really like the way Reggie tells it. If I play bad, he's like, Peter, that was really <laughs> dumb, and you could have lost your team in the game. And I'm like, yeah, that was really bad. Like. I actually appreciate that way more than someone who's like beating around the bush and like I don't really understand. It's kind of like talking to a girl. You're just like, uh, you're supposed to like expect me to read between the lines, but I don't really know what you're trying to say. 
I think Andy's really good at just like giving you the feedback and he's like, that was fucking bad and I don't want to see that ever again. And then you're like, oh yeah, that was really bad. Um, I'm gonna work on that like as soon as possible. So his kind of feedback, yeah, like it rubs people the wrong way a lot of the time, especially if you're not part of the team, then you're like, wow, what a dick. But really he's just trying to help. And I think he did a good job doing that. Can you talk to me about what's been going on with Tristana this whole weekend? Because basically, <laughs> Basically, okay, so we saw a bunch of bands for Tristana, and then at the end of yesterday, there was like a Rage Blade Tristana that was kind of weird. And then I was interviewing Aphromoo, and he was like, yeah, so this is what happened. Like, I played a game with Stix A, and he ran in, and like, they didn't know how to deal with it, so we did this. And then he was like, oh, and then TSM, blo and then he was like, wait, when is this interview coming out? And he was like, never mind, cut that part. So we cut that <laughs> part from the interview, but uh, out of respect for like what was going on with you guys, but you yeah. can now tell me what happened. It, it was banned again and then not even picked in that final match, right? Uh, yeah, I think they, did they ban it? I don't really remember. They didn't ban it in the final match, but I think it was banned the first two. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, Rage by Tristan is a thing. It's it's pretty strong. Me, us and CLG, we both ran it, so I think when, okay, basically what happened is I think the originator was a Korean player named Pilot. He ran Rage Blade Hurricane on Tristana, and then CLG scrimmed with it, and then I started playing it, and then we, when we started playing against TL, we just get on them and scrims with it. So, or I think like only one game actually, we, we just like won that one game, and then they just started perma banning it because they're like, well, this is really weird. And, and then in their match, they're like, we don't want to deal with this. They probably got it from CLG, so they banned it against CLG. I didn't have a chance to pull it out uh, against Immortals, but I do think it's pretty decent. It's like. It looks like a troll ass build that you'd like only do if you're intentionally trying to feed, but yeah. it's it's not bad. Why didn't you try it in the final game when they it wasn't uh, banned? Because uh, people just keep giving me Callista, so okay. I'll just take it. Yeah, you be, you really like Callista. It's like a free win every time yeah. I play it. What what was going on in comms when they they locked in the third eighty carry in the first game? Uh, I was like, damn, if we lose this game, then we we're f boosted, and we actually managed to go down zero seven and give him Baron. So yeah. yeah. Yeah, unlucky. The, the, everyone was just freaking out about Malachi that first game because it was just so funny because he just charged in way ahead of you guys, lived through basically a nuclear bomb and walk away. Yeah, Malachi is uh, pretty strong. I don't really understand Lucian Top that much. Uh, doesn't really feel like it does anything, but yeah. you know, whatever. I think, I think the fact that Huni doesn't play tanks is like. I'm not gonna say it's the only reason, but I, I'd say it's the biggest reason why Immortals lost. I think if Huni could just like swallow his pride and play like like he was a part of a team then they actually would uh, I wouldn't say they would have beat us but they would have had like a way closer series for yeah. sure yeah now I was talking to Aphromoo yesterday I asked him who's who did he think is going to win TSM and I asked him who does he want to play in the finals and he said TSM so you do have to face off against Afro in the finals all scripted uh, dank memes double the first Aphromoo blah blah blah, blah. Stixay tweeted uh was it, who's going to get caught out more? Which AD carry is going to get caught out more? That's the finals. <laughs> uh, so anyway, let's talk a little bit about the CLG match coming up uh, in the finals and on Sunday next week, week from today. Any thoughts on that? Is this is this like your chance to like, I'm going to go out there and I'm going to prove that they shouldn't have benched me? I mean, whatever. Whether we win or lose, I know like how good I am and how good our team is. Actually. I guess if we lose, then our team's kind of bad because we went all this way just to lose the CLG. Yeah. Whatever, we're gonna win. I'm pretty confident. I don't care what any of them say. I know I'm really good, and I I know it for sure. Like TSM is better than CLG right now. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, just out of curiosity, because you have had a hard split, uh, and I remember a couple of weeks ago there was like a somebody did a write up on Reddit showing that you were actually having a pretty good split. How do you feel about yourself this split compared to every other split you've ever played? Um, this, this is the best you've ever been. The best I've ever been? Uh, maybe. I'm I'm pretty good, except, okay, like, earlier in the split, I had, like, really good stats because I just only focused on my mechanics, and I didn't really talk that much during the game. Now that I'm shot calling, it's like, trust me, dude, now I'm now I'm going to throw this back to XDG slash Vulcan Zuna. This guy, he shot called from 80 carry position. It is so hard to do it. I'm telling you, like, trying to tell your teammates what to do and how to move around the map while, like, last hitting and dodging skill shots is so hard. So, yeah, I do have, like, worse positioning now towards the end of the split, I think. But it's something I'm, like, super aware of and I'm working on it. So I think in, like, another week or a week and a half of practicing, shot calling will become, like, second nature so I can, like, go back to my old style. I don't know. I just It's really hard for me to have, like, good mechanics and good shot calling in the same game. But it should be fine. I, I'm working on it. Okay, so going back to a couple weeks ago, you told me TL or TSM over TL 3-2 in the finals. Obviously, TL 
very close, but your prediction was wrong there, there but you've made it to the finals. So realigning that prediction, what is what's happening on Sunday? Realigning that prediction, what's happening on Sunday? Hmm. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say it's gonna go to game five. We're gonna win three two. Okay. So now it's TSM three two versus CLG. Yeah. All right. Boom. It's, it'll be great whenever you guys get stomped and then this interview just gets put out oh. there a ton. Hell no, dude. Yeah. All right, very good. Anything that you would like to say to any of the TSM fans who saw you guys get six and was like, I wish they hadn't picked up double lift. Uh, we're already practicing Permasai. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. All right. I'm just getting no way. For the unaware, that's a Huni quote. Okay. I think you. I think you. You're, what you're supposed to say is like we've already got flights booked for Korea for boot camp. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, dude. All right. Wait, who said that, Adrian? No, I did hear a rumor that one of the teams was thinking about booking flights for MSI though, or yeah, for Korea for they're gonna for cancel camp. those, whoever, whichever that team was. Yeah. Yeah. No, just uh, shout out to all the fans for supporting us. Thank you. Uh, glad we got to have like our playoffs buff. I'm pretty confident. Uh, we're just we just work harder than every other team, so we should win. Yeah. So thank you guys. Congratulations on the win today. Very confident, uh, 3-0. Well, excited to see you guys. You'll be on the other side. Last At the end of the last split, it was CLG versus TSM in the finals. Now it's CLG versus TSM in the finals. You're on the other side. It will be very entertaining, to say the least. I'm Travis Gafford. This is Yahoo Esports. Thanks for watching.